how to replace the rear brake pads and rotors in your Dodge Charger. I am Steven Wimberly and this is Working with Wimberly. So the first step on the rear brakes is to use a 15 millimeter socket and ratchet to take out the two bolts on the caliper. If they start to spin, you'll need an 18 millimeter wrench. You'll put it on the guide pin to stop it from spinning and take out the bolt the rest of the way. Once you get the two bolts out, just use a flathead screwdriver and pry off the caliper. And set it up out of the way. So the next thing we're going to do is remove the old brake pads. Next step is to use the old brake pad and the C clamp to push the piston back into the caliper. The next step is to use an 18 millimeter socket and a breaker bar to loosen the two bolts on the caliper bracket. Use the 18 millimeter socket and ratchet to remove the bolts the rest of the way. Install the new brake rotor. You want to put the new clips into the brake caliper bracket. Just pull out the old one. Take the new one and just press it in. And we'll pop out the old one. Take the new one. And just press it in. I'm going to get the bracket into place and install the two bracket bolts with the 18 millimeter socket and ratchet. Get the brake pad into the bracket. Install the other brake pad. Install the brake caliper. Thread the caliper bolts by hand to make sure we don't cross thread. Use a 15 millimeter socket on the bolt and an 18 millimeter wrench to stop it from spinning. Make sure to pump the brakes before driving, and this job is done. If you found this video helpful, be sure to subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and leave a comment. God bless you all.